Hello everybody, this is Ariane Arsenault from La Fée de la Mer, Handmade Soaps in the Magdalene Islands, Quebec, Canada. Today I am going to show you how we make our horsetail, mint and nettle soap. This soap is infused with horsetail and nettle that is from the Magdalene Islands. Horsetail grows everywhere on the islands, on my property and everywhere else. It's like a very common herb. It's rich in silica and it's great for the skin. We also use nettle from Lance aux Herbes, which is a local business. It's an herbalist and she naturalized um, nettle on her property and she's one of the only places I know in the islands where nettle is established as it is not a native plant from the Magdalene Islands, but she has been growing it for 20 years. So um, we also are using wild mint hydrosol. It's right there on my counter and we produce it right here with our beautiful copper alembics that you can see right up there. So without further ado, we're going to step behind the table and I'm going to give you a quick overview of how this beautiful soap is made. To our base oils and butters, we have added horsetail and nettle to infuse and you can see that the lye water is a little bit darker because it is additioned with the bentonite clay that we have pre-mixed in it. And then to this mix, of course, we have the mint hydrosol that we distilled here with our copper alembics from Candles and Supplies. And we will add some essential oils. We have chosen tea tree, rosemary, and the predominant uh, aroma will be spare mint. We are doing everything on a scale by weight because we have to be very precise when we are making a soap formula. Voila, everything is nicely measured. Now you can see the hydrosol in the bottom and the essential oils floating and everything is going in the main stock pot with the oils and butters, which are by the way, olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, organic palm done right palm oil and shea butter. Now it's time to add the lye water. I'm just giving it a little stir so that the bentonite isn't all sinking at the bottom and adding it to my base oils and stick blending to get a nice emulsion, emulsification, and eventually getting to trace. As I stir and mix, the soap batter is getting thicker and now it has reached a light medium trace and it is ready to pour and watch this this is just my favorite moment and it is beautiful as always <laughs> getting everything out with my spatula because we don't want to waste any of that good soap first part is done I will now take my brambleberry swirl tool and just use it to texture the top by wiggling it down. I make this kind of a wavy texture because we love waves here at La Fée de la Mer. Here we go, that's it for the first step of making this soap. I will now insulate it until tomorrow and we will be back for the cut. It is the next day, the soap has firmed up and cooled down but there's still pretty great uh, texture to cut so I'm unmolding removing the freezer paper and placing that 12.5 kilo block of amazingly awesome soap on my lug splitter. We love using good tools here at La Fée de la Mer and our tools are really making life easy for us because otherwise it would not be that easy to cut so much soap at once. Passing through the splitter a second time to get our smaller sized bar soaps. And they are ready to be um, transferred to the, to the second cutter. Voila. Perfectly cut 120 grams bars of soap. Well. A little bit more but they're going to be drying so once they're dried we try to keep them above 120. I really like this soap. It's 
plain and simple. It smells awesome. It's refreshing. Just slightly exfoliant. Not too much. You just kind of feel the herbs, but it's not like extra scratchy. It's perfect for summer. Now I'm just going to space them out on the drying trays so that the air can flow through and all of the soaps can dry equally and all be ready on time. These are my drying trays from Soap Equipment and I love them. And here they are, the Horsetail Mint and Nettle soaps made with local beeswax and local plants are cut and ready to go in the drying area for the next four to six weeks. We still have some from our previous batch, so you can buy them if you stop by our two shops in the islands. I will try to put these online as soon as I have the time, probably um, for our fall return. Until then, please follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if that's not already done. See you soon.